I just thought I'd put a video together about repairs to the ubiquitous wind guard or wine guard antenna on RVs. Uh, I've seen quite a few about replacing the uh, a broken handle, but I haven't seen one about replacing the arms. And if you can see what happened here is I tried to lower this and it wasn't exactly centered. And um, you can see that there is a you know a, a channel there where it's designed to move into the center, it automatically center itself if it isn't perfectly centered. Um, using the direction uh, direction indicator indoors, but for whatever reason, I guess I had it just a little bit too far out, and um, when it came down, what it did is it actually punctured here and put this part right into the bottom of this arm, so it's uh, bent and um, doesn't. This is as far down as it comes now. You can see. Um, so anyways, I uh, just wanted to repair this, so I bought these two arms um, online. And I figured since I was doing this, um, I might as well take the opportunity to uh, replace the um, worm gear and the elevating gear in here as well. Just because um, I think uh, what happened was that uh, as I was lowering it, um, I was tightening it um, and, and it started hitting here um, you know they always you always people always say you shouldn't force things and well I guess I forced it and so um, I didn't break the handle uh, but it looks it's there's sort of a rough opening uh, action like it doesn't open smoothly so I figure what's happened is that I damaged the worm gear inside um, because every one revolution it seems to sort of get snagged a little bit so anyways we'll pull that apart we'll take a look at it um, and hopefully this will be a useful video if anyone has to replace these arms so the first thing I'm going to do uh, before I do anything else is I'm just going to um, you see the of course the, the cable here the antenna cable is run through the center of the arm so what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, disconnect it from the antenna which looks like that's going to need a wrench. Um, so anyways, uh, do that and then pull it out through here. Uh, the kit I ordered does include um, the arms, of course, these uh, hinges, uh, and the grommets here to plug the hole um, around the cable. Okay, so got the wrench. I just need to tighten, or I'm sorry, loosen this off here a little bit. Okay, and then you got the cable disconnected. So now, what you're going to need to do is remove this grommet. You don't have to worry about, obviously, damaging the uh, So you don't have to worry about damaging the uh, antenna anymore. Okay. So, so you get that, and then you're going to be able to pull. And do the same with this one over here. Um, that'll just allow you to pull the. Uh, remember that the kit came with new grommets, so I'm not worried about these ones. So, I'm just going to pull, or I guess push and pull. 
And yes, I'm going to have to put the camera down, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that cable out. Okay, so cable's out. And uh, once you have taken the, pulled the cable out of the tube here, um, you can just pop the grommets off the end. And because um, the, the kit does come with new ones. And then obviously when you go to put the, uh, the cable back through, you're going to want to put those route those grommets, like stick them over the, cor the cable first, otherwise, of course, you're not going to be able to get them on after. Sounds simple, but it's the kind of thing I would forget. Um, so then the next part here is going to be to actually remove the head, the antenna head, and the, uh, uh, the, the arms from the base here. And for that, it has these two little snap uh, clips just on the end here, and um, I'm just going to need to pop those off. Same on both sides, there's four of them. Alright, so the clips are off, and all I did there was just take uh, the needle nose prop pliers and just stick them in there, pry them apart a little bit, and then they, and then they pop off. Um, so then it's just a matter of pulling these out. Um, step. Okay, so those have been removed. Um, this gives you a better shot of what I did to it, so lesson learned there. Uh, so anyways, and, you know, yeah, you could just bend this back into shape and keep using it. Um, actually, we kind of did that already, but it's never going to be as strong once you've bent it like this, so rather than risk it snapping off sometime, uh, when I'm camping, and I just decided just to uh, get it totally repaired. Um, one other thing to take note of when you do this is at the bottom here, the kit will come with a um, little rubber bumper for the bottom of the arm so that it doesn't dig into the rubber roof on the trailer. And it uh, looks like that was hitting here. Uh, that was hitting here, right? So. Um, you just take note of where that is because uh, assuming it was working right in the first place that way you can just put the, the new one back where it belongs and there's the antenna sitting up here so I'm just going to clean up all these old pieces um, actually I'll probably leave this up here just for a second just for a reference um, and I'm going to go get the new parts the other thing of course to notice this is the um, elevation here and like I said before, I'm going to, um, you know, you can see it's a little bit, teeth are a little bit bent and chewed up there. So, um, this probably happened when I was forcing it. Um, so I'm just going to replace this as well, as well as inside here, the worm can. I guess we might as well work on that step now as well. Um, so what you need to do is remove this cover here off the top. I've already gone on the inside and uh, removed the handle and the spring um, and the uh, mechanism for turning the antenna. I've already taken that off. So now I'm just going to replace the worm gear or I'm going to remove the worm gear here. In just a second. So once you loosen that off you can just uh, you know, these things always look so easy in videos, you know, you just simply, re 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 you know, loosen it, no problem, but, you know, it's always a little bit harder than it looks, but, anyways, I did finally get this loosened off, this will turn, so you're going to want to hold that, and then there you go, so that's just a little cap that protects the top, and then inside here is the worm gear, so, I just need to pull that out, try and do this on camera, instead of cheating, so this should just... <laughs> effortlessly pop out. It's probably better to try and do it like this. There we go. And then we're just going to be able to pull this through and oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's not in good shape there as you can see. I've basically worn the threads off of the one side completely so that's why every time it was going around it was giving sort of a rough um, sound. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, uh, good thing to replace.
replace these two things while we're up here. And um, now, oh, right, and of course, very important to watch out for, the uh, uh, ring gear will come with um, three little washers or seals here, right? And as you can see, when I pulled this one out, they're not there. Um, so they must be back in the hole here. And what you're going to want to do is, um, but you, you, you don't want to double up your seals because um, it might not seal properly. So um, just make sure that when you take this off, uh, that all of your seals come out with it. So that you, when you put the new one in, it will, it will work fine. And boy, yeah, definitely wrecked those threads. Okay, so then, so like I was saying, you have to make sure that the um, seal and the washers here come out with the with the old one, or at least that you take them out. Um, otherwise, you're going to uh, not have a proper seal. So basically, what I had to do here is just stick the screwdriver in and uh, stick the screwdriver in there and just gently pry these up off of the seat here and uh, so you try and get get right in there there we go um, so you just try and pull that off the seat and get all these three pieces off um, an important an important thing to keep in mind when you're buying uh, the replacement worm gear is that uh, they come in two sizes the, the replacements um, there's a 14 inch length and a 10 inch length and um, so they're not they're not custom sized for the trailer. Basically, um, what you do is make sure you buy one that's at least long enough. And then um, you can see what they did at the factory here is a not particularly clean uh, cut, um, but you basically just shorten it to whatever whatever length that you need. So this one I'm just going to cut so that it. I was happy with the way that the uh, amount of tension on the spring and everything like that so I'm just going to cut this one to exactly the same length and uh, as the original. Okay back up on the roof here with the new room gear. Um, so now we're just at the part where we just have to lower this in. Uh, the washers on there. I've cleaned out the inside just to make sure there's no little bits of plastic or whatever left over. And then uh, just going to lube the bottom of this a little bit. Um, they say to use uh, silicone lube. I guess they don't want uh, anything petroleum-based eating away at the, at the plastic. So I'm going to do that right now. Drop this in. Um, put the cap back on. And then I'll proceed with hooking up the, uh, the arms of the antenna. Alrighty, so that part's done. Got the cap back on. Um, right here's back in. Um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, just looking at these arms. One of them here has a um, a notch in the end, and that's where the elevator gear slides in. And then it just uses the same bolt hole as the others, um, as the as the rod itself, to stay in there. So, so that's that part. So I'm just going to um, let's get this antenna out of the way. Antenna cable out of the way. Okay. So then, all I need to do um, is there's there's of course there's two arms, right? One goes on the top, one goes on the bottom. The bottom one is this here. So it just has the holes in the end for the bolts. It doesn't have. Um, the, the holes for the cable or for or this little slot in the end okay for the uh, elevator gear so this one just will just go in here push the bolt through put the snap uh, clamp on and that's it so it's pretty obvious here that the arms that I ordered are not the same length as the ones that I'm replacing um, so 
you know, they do come in different lengths. Um, I guess I could have ordered longer ones. Um, we're going to see how this works out. But uh, at any rate, the ones that I did order are this length, so should be enough to clear the air conditioner. Um, and uh, hopefully when it's folded, it will still fit beside the air conditioner. But we're going to find out. Okay, so now with those on, so that's clipped on. Um, again, you can see that this is shorter, so this is where it used to come down onto the roof. It's, it's shorter here, but it still clears the air conditioner, and uh, so, I, you know, um, I don't think four inches is going to make a whole lot of difference to reception, so uh, at any rate, that's done. So, um, next part will be to route the cable back through. Okay, so an important step here is before you route the cable through, you're going to want to put um, your first grommet on because you're not going to be able to do it after. Um, so just put it so that the top, um, the, the wider part, the top of the grommet that's going to be sticking out is on the uh, side of the, pointing towards the side of the cable that comes out of the trail. And then I'm going to follow the directions that it says here on the side of the antenna. Um, and I'm going to uh, um, sort of hand tighten this and then I'm going to take the wrench here and just tighten it up an additional quarter turn to, for a watertight connection. said before the arms are a bit shorter so the cables a bit long um, not a big deal I mean but I'm just gonna sort of split the difference here and keep it flexible on both sides um, I guess you do need a bit more slack on this end because the uh, antenna obviously needs to be able to turn back and forth but at any rate here we go um, as far as work on the roof, that's all there is to it. Um, the one thing that you are going to want to do, well, I'm going to want to do it because I replaced the elevating gear here, or the sector gear, whatever you want to call it, um, is just lubricate your gears. Um, it says to do this, you know, uh, twice, twice a year, I think. There we go. So that is the roof part of the installation. Now we'll go back inside and, um, oh, I forgot one thing. Forgive me, I forgot one thing here. Um, the one step that I've missed is under here, um, is that it comes with a little silicone stopper. Um, I'm gonna put it on. Uh, just at the bottom here. Um, not sure if it's even going to touch now where this is because these bumpers are hitting in a different spot. But at any rate, I'm going to just stick that under here and that'll be then I'll be done up here on the roof. Okay, so back inside the trailer here. Um, this is our shaft sticking down. Okay. Um, so the next step is just going to be to Put the face plate, the spring, and the handle back on. Alright, the moment of truth here. So, got everything uh, screwed back together. So, you just put the face plate on. Um, that needs to slide right up into the, uh, the hole, and then it will key into uh, the mechanism which will allow you to turn the, the antenna. Um, put the spring on in there, um, and then the handle, and uh, you need a three. Uh, 30 332 uh, 30 seconds of an inch um, Allen key just to tighten this up here. All right, so up we go. And 
there it is. It's up. So there you go.